I uh, wouldn't be surprised if you don't remember who I am. I didn't start the timer and I was supposed to start it. Okay, there we go. Um, where was I? I'm not good at doing this anymore. <laughs> you can do this. You can do it. You can do it. Hey guys, how are you? Um, I know I've been MIA for I think just about five weeks now. Um, when I uploaded the Hawaii vlog, finally, that was the first video in over a month and uh, if you're still here from before that, from the last haul I posted and you just somehow stuck it out and hung around, thank you. I appreciate it so much. I was just really wanting to get that vlog to you and it's been what? That trip was in November so I felt like if I waited any longer it would be ridiculous to put it up. So if you're enjoying it, I'm glad. If you haven't checked it out yet, please do so. I'm super proud of that one and there are are, there's definitely gonna be a part two. There may be a part three to it depending on how long the footage ends up being I do have a homeware like spring homeware haul today um, That I want to share with you. There's some things I've been picking up from the last couple of months But before that I think we do have something to address here. I Don't know if I have any direction or subscribers, but my Zane ladies I feel for you I'm here for you. I ordered this sweatshirt the day after it got announced. I was at work when it got announced. And as of last night, there's a new solo demo. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I haven't really listened to it in all its entirety. Feel free to just comment down below whatever you need. We're all in this together, not the high school musical way, but you know. Shall we just have a moment of brief Vasapdin silence now? I'm sad again. Um, I suppose we can dive right into it. Oh, it just feels blasphemous to just leave that where it is, but we will. We will just leave it where it is. Again, comment down below or just, I don't know, tweet me, comment on my Instagram. I've been all over the place just with the feels, so I got you ladies. We're, we're gonna get through this, okay? So I've been doing quite a bit of shopping um, on the homeware front. I'm not quite sure why I want, I'd blame it on the fact that um, I was used to living on my own for about a year. I got used to kind of furnishing my own spot and I have been feeling a little bit of withdrawal from that um, living back at home since graduating college. And I know, I mean, I can decorate my room and things like that, but I've been feeling kind of itchy to just decorate my own space. So I think I've been taking out all of that um, I don't know, pent-up frustrations, interior decorating frustrations. The first place that I went to was Anthropology. I am a frequenter of their sale, little sale room. I don't know how it works at any of the Anthropologies by you, but mine, it's like a little, it seems like a walk-in closet of just sale stuff. Um, so I picked up a couple of things from there. Um, the first thing that I got was this um, book. It's called The Cocktail Club. It's a, a year of recipes and tips for spirited tasting parties. Um, I really, really, really want to throw like a dinner party for my friends who I haven't seen in a really long time this summer. So spoiler alert pals, I haven't told you yet, but hopefully at the beginning of summer I'm looking to send some invites out if you guys want to head down over to my neck of the woods and hang and have a dinner party. I'm going to be using this because fun cocktails are fun and then I just want to cook for them and just see my friends again but it seems like a really cute book um, it has a bunch of different um, like how to make your own mixers how to infuse your own spirits um, actual classic recipes and then also snacks like the one that I just opened up is a bacon whiskey jam and pimento cheese crostini 
I'm not eating meat right now, but I could totally get into that. So yeah, I'm excited about this. Um, my mom actually also picked up a book. If you, any of you watch the cooking channel, there was a show called Little Paris Kitchen. And Rachel Koo, who is the woman on that show, wrote her own book. And it's really beautiful photos um, in there. Uh, great, like, classic French recipes from different areas of France. Um, so I will include that. I'll link that down below if you're interested in it. I think I saw it in one of um, Sammy from the Beauty Crush's latest vlogs. I saw it kind of hanging out on her kitchen island, so I was kind of excited to see that because I love that book so it's nice to see that she also was interested in it. Another thing that I picked up from Anthropology was um, something that I think I'll get a lot of use of more so when I leave the house because I plan to have a very very stinking cute kitchen. Um, I think I've mentioned before in the past that I'm a second cook at a cafe restaurant near me and it's really it makes me really geek out towards kitchen supplies. I always have, you know, I got excited about getting a toaster for Christmas. So um, this kind of is along the same realm. Um, I got a set of um, measuring spoons. So they look like this. Um, but what's cute about them is that they are actually shaped like branches. They look like this. They're very cute. Um, and then inside they have like little markings in cursive, just one teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, things like that. I think it's very cute. So I'm excited to use these eventually. Um, they were originally $28, see what I mean? And they were marked down to $14.95, which is still a lot more than I would normally pay, but they're of good weight. And even if I don't actually end up using them for functional um, supplies, I think they'd be a really cute like wall deck um, for for the kitchen, for my potential kitchen. <laughs> Karina, I hope you like these because they're gonna go in our kitchen at some point. Uh, last thing from Anthropology was something super quick that I picked up um, after Valentine's Day when they were trying to get rid of all their Valentine's Day stuff. I'm looking to decorate the wall in front of my desk um, with super simple but cute things and I got this little card. Um, it says, I pine for you. I think it'll be super nice to just put in a frame and I don't know, hang above, hang above my desk. Um, so it's super cute, and it goes with um, something else that I picked up from Target, which is the next place I'll talk about. Um, this one uh, also has pineapple things. It's a very pineapple-themed video, as you'll soon find out. This one is just a sassy card that I got from Target. Um, the inside says time to party, obviously, and the obviously is because the front of it is this little black cat Chiquita Banana sassy animal, which I'm very, very, very amused by. So again, I'll frame this, put her up on the wall, and yeah, it's just super fun things to decorate the wall with. Just a couple more things from Target. Um, something super simple. I got these little plain, plain buckets. I think they were with the Easter supplies, but they're all black. They were a dollar. My desk is all black, so I was hoping to just move those over at some point into these. And if not on my desk, then definitely maybe just like my makeup brushes or makeup storage in general, I can throw into here. Um, and they're super cheap. They're a dollar each. So into those. I found this notebook for $5.99 at Target. Super cute. It's by a company called Egg Press. Um, it's a floral notebook. It just says notes on the top of it um, in like gold foiling but the inside is cool because it's all grid so um, I think it's a good place to start and I don't know it might motivate me just to doodle more because um, I don't like to do so in my actual planner I like to keep that pretty pretty clean so something else to just throw in my bag and have on hand in case I feel hashtag inspired Last thing from Target that I'm super excited about is something that I've been monitoring since around Christmas time. I contemplated getting it as a gift for someone. So I don't even know what its original price was. It doesn't have it, but it was first marked down to $13.98 and then again marked down to $9.99 and then further marked down to the price that I paid for it, which was $5.98. And it's these set of um, shot glasses. But they are mini cocktail um, size. So we have a, a beer boot, a um, martini glass, 
a low ball glass and then a wine glass um, at the very end here. And I think these are just darling. If I don't actually use them because I don't have that many friends to take shots with and I'm sure as hell not taking all these shots by myself, um, we have not hit rock bottom just yet, but if uh, another member of One Direction leaves, maybe we might get there. But I think these would be also really cute for decorating the house on. I have some mason jar shot glasses that are just too big to actually take shots out of. I don't know if I'm just a weak grandma or something. These would look really cute just like on um, on a small shelf in the kitchen, maybe above like a small mini bar or something like that. I think they'd be really cute to look at. Plus, if not, come on. If I pay six dollars for four really cute like tchotchke things, I'm such a sucker. I just throw my money everywhere. One of the last places I visited was um, TJ Maxx. They kind of get overflow from other stores and everything is ridiculously discounted. It's awesome. I don't know if you know how much sunblock is, like Neutrogena facial sunblock. It's expensive. And I got it for like six bucks. Normally it's like 14, so there's a kind of spectrum for you. Um, I went there specifically to look for a candle. Um, I'm looking for a really good tobacco-y smelling candle right now. I thought I liked the one from Patty Wax, but it ended up being too strong for me. And all the other pineapple, oh, pineapple, hmm. Tobacco one that they had in the store, I wasn't the biggest fan of. So I instead um, picked up two different candles, one of them being a pineapple one. It's called Pineapple Dream. It's by DW Home. It's a very cute packaging. It has a really, really tiny pineapple right at the front here which is super cute look at that darling just darling but um i burned it for the first time today it smells really nice in like when it's not burning but i was i lit it earlier this morning and i was not the biggest fan i'm going to keep giving it a shot though because it's a huge candle so hopefully it's one of those that maybe needs to be in a bigger space um my room's pretty small so Maybe it's just not the right uh, location for it, but we'll see. I'll keep my fingers crossed. I got a second candle, quite a bit smaller. This one's um, by a brand called La Serreria. Cer Cer Cerreria? Oh, God. But it is a 100% vegetal wax in the scent Petalum? Petulum? Um, super, it's kind of grandma-y. Floral, musky, floral and musky. I don't know what other scents there are. It's nice though and the packaging is really pretty. Won't focus on it but it's got cute images. It's got some fruits, some nature branches, some mirrors and candles and crowns and chandeliers. I don't know. It's cute packaging so my thing with both of those is that I could repurpose them into um kind of carry uh, what is it called? Storage items. So excited about that. Very last thing that I got from TJ Maxx is kind of something kind of goofy, but I do need it because um, of my like hair washing routine, especially in the winter. I don't wash my hair more than once or maybe twice a week, and I've never actually owned a cute shower cap, but now I will because I got one that's blue and has pink flamingos on it, and you should look at it because it's really cute. And this better focus. I think it did. Yeah, it's super cute. It's got little little itty bitty flamingos on it. I look very sassy for all my baths and showers, so <laughs> excited about that. And then the very last thing that I got is actually from my local library. Um, I do visit my library often. I um, am weird about books. I don't like to um, buy them unless I definitely know I love them. It's weird. I don't like to have books that I like, don't really care about in my collection. So um, I was browsing around in their used book section, it's like 25 cents per book. Found this really cool one um, called Josh, My Up, Down, In and Out Life, and it's a autobiography memoir type video, uh, video, memoir type book by um, a gentleman called Josh Logan, and he's from, he has a theater background. And the reason why it intrigued me is because it kind of just follows his life and a memoir on his experience in the theater business way back in the day. Like, what is, what's the year that we're looking at on this? 1976 it was released, so it was even before that. But the photos are gorgeous. They're like, um, of just like old time show business characters. And I don't know, I'm very excited for it. I think it's going to be a good read. And it was literally 25 cents, so even if not, it looks kind of cool 
to just have in a stack. Um, you guys know from my past hauls, I've been collecting books um, to keep just on a, a coffee table or a bedside table. So I'll be excited to add that onto the stack. And yeah, that's everything for the video. I'm pretty excited about all of it. I've been exercising some restraint. I hope that if you're not a One Direction fan, you didn't close the video after the first 30 seconds because it's important. It's important to care for people. And if we learn anything from Zayn, it's that you should not do anything that doesn't make you happy and isn't bettering you as a person and isn't proving to be something, a challenge that you will benefit from in the long run. So life is short, y'all. Be happy and stuff, okay? Um, I have more Hawaii vlogs coming. I have LA videos coming. I'm getting a new computer that's coming soon. So that means more videos that I've been hoarding from the past and just been waiting to edit. Um, I have a lot of plans for you guys. I know I keep saying that, but I think spring. I know I said 2015 was going to be a good one, but spring is definitely going to be a good one. I don't know that there's enough weeks before summer starts to like get all this out to you, but um, if you hang tight with me, we will just enjoy the roller coaster that is Florian's YouTube. And if you get that reference, then I really love you. Um, so yeah, until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Where am I? You're there, probably. What's your trick? Oh,